In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can solve equations in MATLAB. So what I will do is I will open a new live script by clicking on this icon here. So it opens a script here. So what we can see here is uh, there is uh, this gray highlight. It's uh, indicating that it's ready for entering a code there. But uh, what I want to enter first is the text a heading of uh, what I will be talking about. So I'll go to normal there, then title, then I type in the, the text of what I'll be talking about. So I'll be solving quadratic equations, then I press the return key there. And then for us to solve uh, the quadratic equations, the first step is to create a symbolic variable. So I'll type that in. So to create that symbolic variable, I will now press uh, the return key, and then press code. Because we are now entering a MATLAB code to create that symbolic variable. And uh, the code that we type in is SYMS, short for symbols. And we want the variable there to be X. Then I press on the return key. I can now go on and uh, press uh, the text here because I will need to type in the text of what I will be solving. I will now go on and write the equation that I want to solve first. So um, you can just go to editing there. So this is my first equation. So it's number. So for the equation there, to insert it, I'll go to where it says uh, equation, insert, then equation, and then click, click the drop down, then I will enter it as a LaTeX equation. So for the LaTeX equation, it's x to the power 2 plus 8 x, then plus 15 is equal to 0. So this is the equation that I want to enter. Then I'll click on OK. So uh, this is the equation. And then I press uh, the return key. I will now go on to the live editor here saying that I want now to enter the code. So I'll click on code so that uh, that gray highlight comes on. So what I will now do is enter the code which solves this quadratic equation that I have uh, written here. So for the solution, I will call it. S1. S1 is equals to, and then say solve, and then open parenthesis. Inside the parenthesis, we now type in the equation x to the power 2, and then plus 8, then times x. When you are now writing the code, we include the times so that it doesn't give you some errors there, then plus 15. For the equal to, we use the double equal sign, zero, and then specify that we are solving for x. So I'm now done with this one. I can press the return key there. For now to get the solution, what we need to do there is to type in run section. So I can go on and create run section here. And it gives us the S1. Once I specify that my solution there is S1, so it's S1, has two values minus 5 and minus 3. It's saying that the solution of this quadratic equation is x equals to minus 5 and x equals to minus 3. So here I am on my cursor here. I now want to type the second equation. So I'll go on to text. Then for the text, uh, I want it to be just a header here. 2. So I'm going to solve the second problem. So for the second problem that I'm going to solve, I'm going to insert the equation. And this is just typing the equation that I'll be solving. So it's x squared minus 9x plus 8 is equal to 0. And the equation is previewed here. So I place on OK. So that's the equation that we want to solve now. x squared minus 9x plus 8 equals to 0. I press the return key. And then I will now go on live editor and then code to specify now the code to solve this equation. So I will call it S2. Solution 2 is equal to then it's solve 
open parenthesis, we are solving x squared minus 9 times x plus 8. Then tapo equals sign 0. Specify that we are solving for x. Then I come out of the parenthesis, press the return key. I can now go on and run section so that we get the solution there. And it's giving us S2 there. It's saying S2 has values 1, 8. It's saying that the solution of the equation x squared minus 9x plus 8 equals to 0 is solutions x equals to 1 or x equals to 8. I now go on to the next equation that I want to solve. So I will type text here. I'll put it as a heading. And then a 3 here. And then insert the equation that I want to solve using LaTeX. So what I'm doing now is a 3x squared plus 12x minus 15 is equal to 0. So that's the equation. I click on OK. So we have the equation here. I click on the return key. I now go on to live editor so that we change here so that we enter the code. The code for solving 3x squared plus 12x minus 15 equals to 0. So for the code, I will type in the solution to be S3. S3 is equals to 3 open parenthesis, I am solving the equation 3 times x squared then plus 12 times x minus 15 then double equal sign 0. Specify that we are solving for x. Come out of the parenthesis, press the return key. Then I can just run the section so that I get the solution here. I can just run here. And we get the solution for S3 here, saying S3 is equals to minus 5, 1. We are saying that the solution for this quadratic equation, 3x squared plus 12x minus 15 equals to 0, is x equals to minus 5 or x equals to 1. I now go on to solve the next equation. So I will, end, I will just write down the equation in text here. So it's the fourth one. And I will insert the equation that I want to be solving to x squared minus 7x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now the equation is previewed here, 2x squared minus 7x minus 1 is equals to zero. I click on OK. Then I click on the return key. I go on to the live editor and then specify that I now want to enter the code to solve this equation here. So it's solution number four. Solution number four and I have equals to then solve open parenthesis. And I'm solving the equation 2 multiplied by x squared, then minus 7 multiplied by x minus 1. Double equal sign, 0. And then specify that we are solving for x. I come out of the parenthesis, press the return key, and then run so that we get a solution, the S4. So we have the S4 there is 7 over 4 minus root 57 over 4. The second root is root 57 over 4 plus 7 over 4. So that's the solution here for this uh, quadratic equation. I can uh, go on and uh, write another equation. So I can just put text. And I'm now looking at uh, the fifth example of solving an equation. Then I go on to just write down the equation that I want to solve. In this case, I'm now looking at a cubic equation. x cubed minus 5x squared and then plus 8x minus 4 is equal to 0. 
x cubed minus 5x squared plus 8x minus 4 is equals to 0. So I've written down the equation that I want to solve. I will now go on and solve it in MATLAB. So I press the return key and go to the live editor. We are now entering the code for solving this equation. So I will call it my solution 5 in short s5 is equals to and then solve. Open parenthesis and we are solving x cubed minus 5 times x squared 10 plus 8 times x minus 4 then double equal sign 0 specify we are solving for x come out of the parenthesis press the return key then i go on and run this section here and it gives us uh, the solution there is s5 is saying 1 2 2 it's saying that the roots of this cubic equation are 1 2 or 2 the 2 there is a repeated root so those are just a few examples that i needed uh, to show you using matlab when you have done your work like this you can uh, go on and uh, save so i can click on save so it's saved being saved in the matlab drive so i can give it a name here i can just say equations equations so and then i go on and uh, click save so as you can see it has been saved the name is now appearing so this live script is now saved in uh, the matlab drive there what you can uh, do at this stage is uh, you can uh, send this script to another person so that the, the person can just uh, come and edit here to solve different equations or if it's an assignment that you are required to submit as a pdf you can just go to where it says save here then you export as pdf or word or html so in this case, just to see the output, I will just uh, export to HTML there. This dialog box appears and I'll click on export. So it will open in a new tab. So I click on open. So this is what we are doing, quadratic equations. Then create a symbolic variable, the question 1, question 2, question 3, question 4, and question 5. So it's giving the problem on the MATLAB code and the solution there. So if it's an assignment that we require to submit as a PDF, you generate the PDF, then it will come out, then you submit the resulting PDF.